YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's mail day again, and today's package comes from subscriber Baron Von Blixberg, a.k.a. Wendy and Robert Jones. So let's take a look at what I got. The official Ghostbusters training manual from 1984. It includes a graduation certificate, so I know I'll be ready to face any Class 5 full-roaming vapors. We're ready to believe you! I'm real excited about this one. The novelization of Halloween 2 from 1981. Fantastic cover art and photos of Michael Myers, a.k.a. The Shape. Wow, a 1977 issue of DC's Welcome Back, Cotter. This looks interesting. Hey, it's Vinny Nindorino. Ooh, ooh, Mr. Carter. And I got this 1989 issue of Marvel Fred Hembeck Destroys the Marvel Universe. I also got this awesome 1953 calendar and date book. Hatchet Man Pop. I didn't know they had Juggalos back then. Whoop, whoop. And I got a 1987 issue of the Whovian Times, the Doctor Who fan club. It includes part of a complete Doctor Who program guide. Patrick Troughton was born on March 25th, 1920. Hey, can't you wait? at least wait till I'm done? I got the Xbox Big Bumpin' Game. I now have two of the Burger King games, this one and Sneak King. I got the crazy 70s biker horror movie Psychomania on VHS. And I got this video storybook on DVD, The Adventures of Michael Giovanni. One day Michael Giovanni wants to rock and roll his town. Oh, rock and roll his town. He don't mess around. Excellent. I also got a DVD of the greatest movie ever made in the history of mankind. Well, you buy a hat like this, I'll bet you get a free bowl of soup, huh? I got a Kyle Vincent CDEP and the cassettes Jackie My Jackie by James Thornton, Are You Guys a Band by Free Fair, and Benny Hill's Words and Music. His obituary was included, and this tough guy left no survivors. I also got this hella cool original mixtape art, and a tape of a couple songs by Silver Linen, a band that Wendy was in with her future husband, Stoney. I have here a handmade 1989 wrestling fanzine that Stoney made that includes info on wrestlers like Dixie Boy, The Bone Crusher, and Michael Nutbuster Lucas. I love this fanzine. Sadly, Stoney passed away suddenly in 2016. And some of the things that I have in this video were things that he collected. Wow, here's a ticket stub from Prince's 1988 Love Sexy World Tour. Here's one from a Cinderella concert in 1989, and one from a Kiss show way back in 1990. And 50 years before that, here's a 1940 ticket from an Elks Lodge show. I got this classic Empire Strikes Back book and record set, a plastic Stormtrooper head, and this cool Star Wars pen. This fancy Remy Arnold pen on a chain, ooh la la. And a Despicable Me pencil, ring, and playing cards. Plus a small deck of Pirates of the Caribbean playing cards. An oversized deck that's a war card game. And this cool Magician's Mark deck. The aces have special markings on the backs so you can identify them. This might get you into trouble at a poker game. I also got some dice, a Pirates of the Caribbean magnet, and a little die-cast metal car. This Johnny Lightning Grateful Dead Cadillac hearse. And this Pixar Elvis RV vehicle and some epic Elvis Christmas cards. Here's a piece of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation wrapping paper. I also got a Chick Tract, of course I collect these, and a Get Out of Hell free card. Maybe I'll keep this in my wallet, just in case. I got three keychains, and SPCA, Novelist, Beatles, and Groucho pins, and some cool patches including this one from Desert Shield. This little pig coin purse has currency from Canada, France, and India, maybe, and a wheat penny. I got a Halloween necklace, a medal, and a very metal guitar strap. And if you think I'm going to use this, you damn skippy. Also got this retro apparel. Far out, man. I got some vintage Jackrabbit photo print coupons, some old postage stamps, and a whole box of these amazing 1982 shoe book plates. You'd stick these in a book to announce your possession of it. 
Whoa, I love this. An original 1985 movie ad for a preview screening of the horror film Fright Night. I got a collectible spoon from Alberta, Canada and a handy travel contacts case. A great mini Wooly Willy, which I'm glad to get because I gave mine away as a birthday gift, and two rad Dunkin' Yo-Yos, a butterfly and an Imperial. This red and blue top is cool. When you spin it, it makes purple. I got a happy music noisemaker, a Harrow game, and my favorite, cheap plastic toys. Cheap plastic toys, cheap plastic toys, never give play with by no girls or boys. Here's a cheap plastic hand grenade. Some super bang roll caps, I loved these as a kid. A wind up sniper, and a wind up astrobot miner. I got some cowboys and Indians, and other small figurines and toys. I got a Wizard of Oz flying monkey figure, this nifty masked wrestler figure, a 1983 Howling Mad Murdoch A-Team figure from Galoob, and I love this 2006 Burgess Meredith figure. Because I'm too old to waste my time trying to train a no-good loser like you. And I got some trading cards. I got 59 Beatles cards. These came out in 1993. Please, everybody, if we haven't done what we could have done, we've tried. 33 Superstars music cards from 1991. These are as diverse as Nelson, Motorhead, B.B. King, Hart, Run DMC, and even Hanoi Rocks, who'd actually broken up in 1985. That is wild. And three 1991 Mega Metal cards. Firehouse, Michael Schenker Group, and Simon Wright of Dio. Look out! Thanks to Wendy and Robert Jones for their kindness in sending me all this groovy stuff. And if you're into dark shadows, be sure to check out the Baron Von Blixberg channel. The link is below in the description. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube. When Michael Giovanni sings aloud, he brightens up our world. Oh, yeah!